guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my pump bag essentials. So as a new mom, this is something that was so intimidating for me. I had finally gotten into a routine breastfeeding at home and boom, I'm back to work. You gotta switch it up, gotta figure out how to pump at work and more importantly, be comfortable pumping at work. So I scoured the internet for lists of things that I would need. Um, I talked to a few close friends who had recently gone through it and I compiled a list of things that I have now deemed essential to having a comfortable pumping environment on the job. Um, and so in my particular situation, I did have a room that was designated for me to pump. And so I was able to store a few items there. I'm gonna go over those first and then we're gonna get into my pump bag. One of the things that I stored there was a bottle brush and then I also had like a drying mat or sometimes I would just use a rig like this that I would lay my pump parts on. So I would wash my pump parts, lay them out to dry on this mat. And since it was designated for pumping, I felt completely comfortable to let those things air dry and be in the view of other people had they happened to go in that room. The next thing that I kept in this room was a blanket. So something like this. I didn't carry this back and forth every single day, but I did find it very handy to have in the room, um, especially during the winter months, you know, just having that comfort. Because you are exposing more of your skin than usual, I felt like it was very important to me to be warm enough. Uh, and that goes right along with my next item is a little mini heater. So this heater, like I said, we have a lot, a long winter here in South Dakota. And so this was really important to me. It made me 100% more comfortable. Had I been cold and there were days where I was chilly pumping, I would cut those pump sessions short. Um, but to be able to stick through it <laughs> for as long as I have, this definitely helped me through that process. So I definitely recommend getting a little heater for your room if you are able to, if you have access to an extra plug-in. Uh, and this one has like a shut off switch on the bottom. I did unplug this every day, but you know, had I left it on, um, if it tipped over or anything, this one would automatically turn off. So this uh, met the fire codes for my work. So I was able to use it safely. So let's dive right on into my pumping bag. So this is the bag that I use. Um, this is actually a 31 tote bag and I love this bag. It has a lot of pockets on the outside So as I'm running out the door, I can grab my milk put in there I can put my water bottle in here, right? Sling this over on my arm and I'm ready to go I don't have to deal with a bunch of zippers or things like that. So this works out really really well um, it Has a pocket for absolutely everything I need and then a big pocket in the middle for the actual pump. So I highly recommend this bag uh, Obviously you need your pump this is the Spectra S2, and this one works really well. I highly recommend it. I think that the quality of it is really, really great. Um, easy to operate and just simple. Uh, I do recommend having some extra parts. I was able to, you know, leave my leave a set of parts at work since I had the space to let them dry. Um, but other than that, if I was bringing these home and washing them, I would definitely recommend keeping an extra set of parts in your bag. Along with that, you have your storage bottles um, or your collection bottles. And these little things, these little duckbill things. I recommend if you don't wash your parts and keep them at your work, that you get some extras. I actually went to work one day in the beginning of my pumping journey um, and I only have one of these. Now, there's two sides to my pump and I could only use one. So it made the process of pumping so much longer for the day. I had to eat into my lunch break trying to figure out where to find time to pump that day. And so <laughs> since then, that's the reason I started keeping pump parts at my work because had I not had one of these, I wouldn't have been able to pump all day. And if you've been a pumping mama, you know how painful and annoying and oh my gosh, how terrible of a thing that is to not be able to pump for nine hours. That's ridiculous. Um, and so since then I kept a set of parts at my work so I would never go through that or run into that. I was very thankful that I did not have to go through that, but I have heard horror stories of people who have had to do that. 
The next thing is a little sign. So this one just says, please knock before entering, thank you. So even though my pump room had a lock on it, I created a sign and what I did with this was I put it in like a protective binder sleeve, and put a command hook on the door and then I would just hang this up. This worked really, really well in the event that I forgot to lock the door, which I have done. <laughs> um, or in the events that someone just kind of got curious, you know, um, because where the room where I was, public could walk by there. And so everybody in my office knew exactly what I was doing in there, but sometimes people just get curious. They'll try and open a door <laughs> um, if it doesn't have a sign or like an employee's only sign. So this was really, really handy. It has a couple little cows on here that are holding little milk bottles which I think is a really cute, somewhat discreet way to let people know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> because like I said, people are nosy. They just want to know what's going on. The next thing I keep in my bag is a cooler. So this was nice to put my milk bottle in um, on my way home. But this was also nice if I did not have time to wash my pump parts. You can actually keep used pump parts in the fridge to keep them good until your next, next pump session. You can keep them in there and use them as long as you would keep regular stored breast milk stored in the fridge. So, like I said, if I was in a hurry, someone from downstairs called and said, oh, your appointment's here early. And I had to get running downstairs. I didn't have time to wash my pump parts. I would throw them in here, close this up, and put this in the fridge because I don't need everybody in the office seeing my pump parts. Uh, this was a nice little discreet way to store them and do that. Another lifesaver for me was a pump bra. I'm not going to link this one because honestly, I don't love this one. I think with my next kid, I'll end up getting a different one. Um, but this did what it was designed to do, and that is allowed me to pump hands-free. So I could eat a snack with one hand, text with another hand. It just made my life a whole lot easier even though it wasn't the most comfortable thing uh, what i would do is i would wear my nursing bra and then i would just flip that down put this on this actually zips in the front and then it velcros in the back uh, so however you wanted to put it on just throw it over your nursing bra and then you can pump so it made it a really quick transition um into pump mode if you will Next thing I have in here are baby wipes. So if you're a mom or a parent or a grandparent, you probably have these in about 10 different locations in your house, car, bags, whatever. Your pump bag's another one. These are just awesome to wipe yourself off, wipe the counter off, you know, whatever you need to wipe. These do the trick, I love these. Um, so I always have <laughs> at least a few. Along with that, hand sanitizer came in really handy for me. So, use this before, use this after. It just really um, helps cut down on the time you're spent in your pump room. And this way you're not having to run to the bathroom and then go and go to your pump station, you know, to make sure that things are sanitary. This just was really, really nice to have on hand. And even though I don't store my milk directly in freezer bags, I do like to keep a few handy, just in the event that I forget a bottle, which I have, I've done that a couple times. And one time I was actually out of these bags because I had used them and I did not replace them. And I ran around the office looking for like a disposable water bottle, you know, so I could put milk in there and store it for the day. Um, it was absolutely ridiculous. So do yourself a favor keep a few of these in your bag. Even if you don't think you'll need them, just be safe rather than sorry. My next pocket over here, I have a few snacks. Uh, so I like to keep snacks that if I don't eat them one day, I can eat them the next. So things like fruit, apples, bananas, things like that that don't necessarily have to be in the fridge. Um, granola bars, cereal bars, like fruit grain cereal bars really good options to keep in your bag. Um, also, if you haven't seen a recipe for lactation cookies, I highly recommend them. Um, I still actually make a very similar cookie. <laughs> um, 
that my whole family eats. And so highly, highly, highly recommend just having something on hand. Now the cookies were great because those would be my little reward if I woke up in the middle of the night to pump when my baby slept through the, through the night. Um, I would let myself have a cookie. You know, pumping was definitely not my favorite thing. So just having a little treat, a little something to look forward to. It could be a mini chocolate bar or whatever around Halloween. I did that too. Um, you know, whatever it is, having something to kind of look forward to, reward yourself with a little chocolate here and there for actually pumping because I don't think it's anybody's favorite thing. Um, just really, really helps ease the time. <laughs> Next pocket just has some Kleenexes. I like these little travel sized ones. And then I have a water bottle. So this is a camel back. Um, I also have like a Yeti one that has a uh, decal on it. I recommend having a decal on it because no matter where I am at in my work, I might be in somebody's office talking and leave my bottle there or you know, up in a shared area and I leave my water bottle there all the time. And so it's nice when somebody says, oh, Jolie, your water bottle's over there because they see the decal on it, they know it's mine. Um, inevitably, every single time I pumped or nursed, I was thirsty beyond belief. So even if I didn't feel like I needed water at the start of a pump session, by the end of it, I was wishing that I had it. And I'm not talking long pump sessions, I'm talking like 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes, I was more than ready to down a whole bottle of water um, and your body needs that so definitely recommend getting a water bottle that's all your own that you can refill constantly and then I have these bottles so these bottles I think were like a dollar at Walmart um, and I recommend getting a few of them so that way when I fill this up at work with fresh pumped milk the next day I can just take it straight to daycare and let her pour out of it. Um, and then I have a clean bottle that I just take to work and I do the same thing. I just rotate them. So two or three of these bottles is perfect. And like I said, they're really cheap. I think they're like a dollar at Walmart. So awesome addition to uh, your pump bag, a very sound investment. Um, and I, I think these hold 24 ounces. So this is awesome because the next day, my baby's probably gonna go through about 18 of those. Um, and so I would freeze whatever's left over at the end of the next day, but right off the bat, I wasn't wasting plastic bags every single day because I'm going to pour into them and then the next day we're going to use them. That didn't make sense to me. So I recommend getting a storage container of some sort other than the plastic bags. And last but certainly not least is a cell phone. Um, you could also throw a charger in here because there were some days I wish I had a charger. But um, for my pump breaks, I loved to catch up on YouTube videos, watch a little TV, scroll through Facebook. That was kind of like my me time. Um, you know, yes, it's definitely work, but having the hands-free option, I was able to enjoy it a little bit more and you know, do some fun things, play a game, whatever it is for those 10, 15 minutes um, was really, really great. And this definitely helped pass the time. Otherwise I would just be looking at my pump wondering when the time is gonna be up for me to go back to work. Uh, so it was just nice to have something to keep me occupied for those few minutes. So I definitely recommend getting your iPad or your cell phone and just, you know, finding something you enjoy. Uh, for a long time, I had one game that I would play. I would play it only when I pumped, like I said, with the chocolate. It's just a little reward for <laughs> doing something that's definitely not easy, but is definitely worth it. Uh, so I hope that this video helped you prepare for getting your pump station all ready to go. I know that these are the things that I use almost daily. There's a couple things that are just in case of emergencies, but 100% these are things that I carry back and forth every single day and they make my life so much easier. Uh, so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and we will see you next time.